Hi everyone. Uh, again, it's really sad not to see you guys every day, but I wanted to give you a video of um, an alternative to visiting colleges since I've gotten some questions about this, um, especially for you seniors as you try to make some decisions here pretty soon. Um, so for most of you seniors, uh, you already know that the National College Decision Day is typically on May 1st. Um, but I've been getting a lot of emails, and I'm sure you guys have as well, that a lot of colleges are extending that deadline. Um, so I'd really like you guys to start thinking about that and using this time to research your colleges that you're thinking about and seeing who, um, who has extended those deadlines and who hasn't. So now it seems like a lot of colleges are letting you um, make that decision in June or July, depending. Um, so take some time and figure that out. Maybe email your admissions counselors at those colleges to get more information. Um, but today, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of different ways you can get some information from your campuses. Um, I'm going to use UW-Whitewater as an example, um, but everything I'm showing you is pretty consistent with all of the campuses. So you can usually find a virtual tour on a college website. Um, application information on the admissions page at a co college website, um, as well as um, course catalogs, which I like students to use uh, to figure out kind of what classes you're going to take in college, depending on the major you're going into. And then lastly, I'll show you this tuition calculator uh, that really helps you figure out generally what your out-of-pocket costs are going to be. Uh, some of you seniors, you probably have already received your award letter and have a good idea of what that looks like but I'll still show you um, typically how to find that. Um, and if you guys have questions afterwards, you can always let, let me or Mrs. Kirkpatrick know. So I'm just gonna share my screen. And we are gonna go right to the homepage of UW-Whitewater. Usually you just Google the college's name and it brings you right to their homepage. Um, one great thing that Whitewater has right away is on their homepage, they have this COVID-19 information bar, which is great. So you can click on that and see if there is any relevant updates to incoming freshmen or current students or anything like that um, to answer some of your questions right off the gate. Um, but really what I'm gonna stick to are those things that I was telling you about. So first we're gonna check out the virtual tour. So if you come up here to admissions, the first thing you see is a virtual tour. And that's usually pretty common. Um, once you go to admissions, it's going to show you a bunch of different inf information, um, the link to apply, a virtual tour, and an opportunity to schedule a typical tour. Obviously, you guys aren't going to do that right now, so we're just going to use the virtual tour for now. Um, and that just gives you an idea of what the campus actually looks like, what's been updated, um, those kinds of things, what the halls look like. It's not exactly the same as going on campus, but it's a good alternative for now. Um, the other thing, like I said, is the application. So typically, if you click on this, it'll give you another link to the uw.apply.edu. Um, other campuses like Marquette and Carthage that are private um, might have a link to the Common App or to their own institution app. And then also this button, it'll give you the requirements you need to apply. The other thing is down at the bottom, it has this link called cost to attend. So that's that tuition calculator I was telling you about. Um, and Whitewater's page, it gives you a little bit different information. It right away gives you their tuition and fees, housing fees, and meal plan. So you get an idea of what it's going to cost right off the gate. Um, but uh, usually we're going to look for that tuition calculator, which is under here, calculate my cost. So this is specific to you. You're going to plug in um, whether or not you're a Wisconsin resident, um, the number of credits you're coming in with. So most of you guys aren't coming in with any college credits unless you did some sort of summer program with Gateway or CLC. Um, and then also whether or not you plan on living on campus, off campus, those kinds of things. Um, you'll also plug in your GPA and ACT for some other colleges version of the tuition calculator. And that will generate potential scholarships you could qualify for. Um, your EFC, which is your estimated family contribution to see how much financial aid you would get. And it gives you a projected idea of how much your out-of-pocket costs are going to be. So that's the tuition calculator. Again, you can usually find that on every single website. If you can't, again, I would just suggest searching. So it's gonna be my water tuition calculator. So or this NAPCRIS calculator. And it tells you how to go. 
fit to it. So it's a quality board DSP calculator. So again, that's how much you're going to get from the state and financial aid. And so this is a slightly different one. Um, this is the college board. So this is where you sign up for AP tests or SATs. This is also a good calculator as well. Um, I like the other one though because it's specific to the campus. But if you don't know what your ESC is out the gate, this calculator can help you estimate that and then plug that information in to give you a more realistic idea of your personal out-of-pocket costs. So the other thing I wanna show you is the course catalog. So there's a couple of ways to get there. I'll show you the longer way. Um, so first it's gonna be under academics rather than admissions because this is specifically the major you're going into, not necessarily um, just incoming, incoming students use this information. So we're gonna find the college that you're in. So for psychology, it's under the College Letter of Sciences. Um, and we're looking for the majors and minors. And you're just gonna search your, or scroll down to your department. So for psychology, and as you can see, there are different aspects in psychology. So we're just gonna do the regular plan. Um, and the thing is, you can see the catalog. So these are just the courses that you have to do for the major, but they also have a four-year plan. So they give you kind of an outlook at what you'll take each year. So this is the catalog you can see for the major. You need 36 credits in addition to your general education requirements, and it tells you the exact credits you have to take. So it's kind of a nice tool just to see what you're going to be taking. Um, sophomores, juniors, you guys can use this to figure out what you might want to take in high school to get to that major. So for those of you doing biology or pre-med, um, business, those kinds of things, you can kind of look around and, and see what classes you have to take. And again, this is something that every college is gonna have. Uh, if you can't find it, just Google the college name, course catalog, and it'll usually pop up. Um, like I said, if you guys need help with this or you have other questions, you can always reach out to me or Mrs. Kirkpatrick, but also your admissions counselor at the university. I've been getting a lot of notifications that those counselors are available on, for Zoom meetings or um, email, those, whatever you guys need. So again, if you need help with that, reach out to me or your admissions representative. It's nice to see you guys, bye.